DV PhD's Mythbusters, episode 7, 7th of September 2020. And many things are said about various issues surrounding Scotland, our relationship with the UK, the EU, independence, etc. So in these videos, I'm going to bust the myths that many believe. This week's myth is the one that politics makes no difference to people's lives. From the independence perspective, it would be that voters who don't feel strongly one way or the other about independence. They just want to stop hearing about it on the TV or internet. Well, if that's your position, I've got a news flash for you. The only way to get independence off your TV or your Facebook feed is to vote for it. On politics in general, well, while it may not be interesting to everyone, it absolutely affects everyone in the world. I suppose the most acute illustration of that is the current COVID-19 crisis. New Zealand, to date, have lost just 24 people to COVID-19. The UK has lost over 45,000 and rising. Now, the UK is admittedly a much larger country, but expressed as a simple probability, an individual is over 200 times more likely to die at COVID-19 in the UK. And this isn't just due to New Zealand's good luck. It's more down to effective political leadership. I guess the parallel for me, and probably most of us, is science. I don't have a great understanding of science, but I do recognise that it affects me in almost everything in my life. But I don't get random scientists come out of my house trying to get me interested in science. So, on Scots independence, you know, the free childcare, the elderly care, the prescriptions, the bus passes, the the further education, they didn't just happen by themselves in Scotland. They happened because of political differences between Scotland and the rest of the UK. And while you may appreciate these benefits, you may, on the other hand, not really care how they happened. So how do you get those SNP guys to stop chopping at your door? Well, here it is. We feel strongly about this. It's absolutely fine that you don't, though. You know, we're not here to try to convert you or politicise you. We'd love to, but you'd have to be willing. But we'd ask you to consider this. The fight for Scottish independence is over 700 years old. The SNP is 86 years old. And in that time, we've waited 28 years to elect our first MP. 65 years to form a Scottish Parliament and 73 years to form a Scottish Government. In short, the Scottish independence movement is going nowhere until the job's done. The only way for you to stop hearing about it is to vote for it. Because when we finally win, the indie campaign ends. Now, our research following the general election in 2019 showed that many people who voted for Conservatives or the Brexit party didn't actually feel strongly one way or the other about Brexit. They just wanted a debate to stop, as they were sick of it. They were sick of hearing about it. Basically, they wanted it off their telly. And though we regret that decision, we do understand it. And pretty soon, those voters will get their wish. Voting for unionist parties, or just not voting at all, is not going to get the SNP off your television, out of the streets or away from your door. If you vote for the SNP, and then, when you get a chance, vote for independence, pretty soon you can get your wish, which is peace to your your life, and we can get our wish and achieve ours, which is independence. Now, given that you don't feel strongly one way or the other about this, we'd encourage you to let us try the other. Our offer, if successful, would give you peace to continue your lives as we build a fairer and more prosperous Scotland. Freedom isn't free, especially from us, but it doesn't have to be expensive either. Two votes. One for the SNP, one for Indy, is all we ask. And then we'll never darken your door again. It's absolutely fine to be non-political. We do realise we are a bit different. We recognise that you may not feel one way or the other about this issue, 
In an independent Scotland, the issue will actually disappear as it becomes the normal state of affairs, and you'll never hear of it again, at least not from us. Now you can then continue to be non-political in a fairer and more prosperous country, so everybody wins. Folks, thanks for watching. Please comment on the Facebook page. Keep it civil at all times, please. Davy PhD.